What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm gonna film this short swim swimple. Short, simple, and sweet so I can get on with the video with you guys. But this is actually a video back from about three years ago, but it's a style of video I want to start equipping. I think this is the stuff that you guys are wanting. This is a bunch of tip action, a bunch of big bass action, and a bunch of knowledge in these videos. Definitely back three years ago, I have a lot more knowledge now. You know, I've learned so much over the past years, but this video is the type of videos I want to start equipping into my channel. So I want your feedback. Each and every one of you guys, comment below what you guys want to see. And if you like this style of video, but I'm going to play it now, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get on with it. Oh, shit. Get out of your way. There you go. Good fish on the chatterbait. First fish of the day. It's a decent little fish. I guess we're gonna throw him in the live well and get some pitch at the end. Has a pretty big mouth. Just needs to eat more and get a bigger body. Fish number one. You thought you got hooked up, didn't you? Yes, but dude, I saw I he started to tug, and that was a big fish. Big one. Trotter bait, a good fish. We're gonna go ahead and put him in the live well so we can get some pictures later on. Trotter bait, bait, bait! That's a decent one. Oh, a fat one. Look at that sucker. Look at that. Oof. That's a decent fish right there. I mean, look at the color on them because of the, the cold water. It's a nice fish. I'm going to throw him in the log well. The tree, there's a tree that lays down right here. And right when I threw my chatter bait, right when I whipped it over it, I hit the tree a few times. And the last time I hit the tree when I went over it, that's when I got the bite. Like right now I'm hitting the tree and then right when I came off it, that's when the fish bit it. I'm relating to that cover. All this current's pushing everything back in here too. I mean, it's about 15 mile per hour winds pushing back in here, if not more. Those fish just like to sit up in this stuff. Baby, let me throw him back. This is a small one. All these light colored. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! God. Dang, man. Oh my God. Oh, that's a big fish. <laughs> I knew when he hit it, it was a freaking slunch. Put the power pulls down. Oh. That's a good fish. He chomped that chatter bait. Good one right there. So what, how I caught this is I was fishing this point. There's this little point that comes out. There's a lot of wind, a lot of current 
pushing up against it and he actually hit it right at the boat I don't know if you guys saw that or not but he hit it really close to the boat so that just shows you don't give up like say you're throwing at the bank and you're just reeling it a little bit past the bank and then you stop don't do that don't give up on it definitely keep on working the bait back to the boat because that's what that's what it produces right there so let's get him in the water or get him in the live well we'll catch some more There's definitely a fish on this tree. That's the cast right there. Oh, the tree. I thought I had one. All right, guys, what bait I'm using? It's simply a chatter bait. But this isn't the regular standard Z-Man chatter bait. This is actually one that I have on my website, ones that I started making. This is a little older version, though. The ones that I have now on the site actually have eyes and everything, and they're way more, I guess you could say, detailed. But the color that I'm using is pretty much white, and I have a little bit of chartreuse. And the trailer is Reaction and Innovation's Little Dipper, which is phenomenal. I love it on the fish head spin. I love it on a chatter bait. I love it pretty much on everything when it comes to a paddle-tailed um, soft bait. If you guys are wondering what line I'm using, I'm using 15-pound Seaguar fluorocarbon and... Pretty much the action of rod that you're gonna to wanna to be using is either a medium heavy or a heavy. This one's actually a 7.3 heavy, which I usually don't use on a chatterbait. I usually use a medium heavy. Um, but it is obviously working for right now. And the reel I'm using, um, pretty much just any seven one to one gear ratio reel. Um, it's not gonna be that specific. I wouldn't really recommend like a five to one gear ratio reel, but go with something like a six four to one or a seven one to one gear ratio reel. Let's go catch some more fish. These people don't like people fishing their dock, I guess, you know. Share the water. Ooh. I'm gonna catch a fish right next to it. Watch, I'm about to catch one right now. I told myself I'm catching one here, gotta catch one. Oh! Big one. Oh man, he ain't that big, but it's all right. He's a decent one. That ain't even a bass, boys. <laughs> oh boy. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, I said I was gonna catch a fish here. I didn't say what type. There you go. That's pretty, pretty um, interesting right there, guys. You know, I just thought I was gonna catch a fish. Um, yeah. That's people gonna learn. If you watch some of my other tutorial videos, you guys know I'm crazy about retying. I truly believe in it 100%. What happens is, man, your line phrase, you're throwing against those rocks, you're throwing against those trees, you're catching those fish, and your line's gonna get frayed, you know, and that fish kind of choked that bait, and I know, I'm sure it kind of frayed the line just a tad, and it's just not worth it, guys. You'll, be, you'll end up hooking a fish, and it'll end up breaking off, and Trust me, I've learned my lesson on that many of times, and it's not its not fun. <laughs> I always think back, and I'm like, man, I wish I retied. It's not worth it. Just <laughs> make sure you retie. It takes a couple seconds, and I'm sure you'll boat more fish. All right, guys, had a blast today. We tried something a little bit different. I would usually be out deep. We would be catching around 40, 50 fish. Tried something different, went up shallow, threw a chatterbait around, and caught some pretty decent ones. So let's, let's go ahead and see what we got. We got four in the live well right now. Two of them being pretty good. I lost a few good ones as well, but that's all right. There you go, good one. Some pretty good fish right there, guys. Two, two solid ones. We got two more in there. One of them is a little bit smaller and another one's a two pounder. So let's go ahead and throw them in the water. That's a good, that's a good fat one. 
about two and a half. Picture. Here's a little turd. <laughs> Small one pounder. That's all we put in the live well. We caught some more. But that's all that we put in. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the new camera. I'll catch you guys at the next video.